Hey addicts, welcome back. We are doing the episode by episode review slash discussion of Mob Psycho 2? Season 2? I don't know if... Uh, Mo, uh, like you Mob Psycho saying, 102. Or Mob Psycho 200? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not the official name, but you know what I'm saying. So, uh, I think this had a pretty good start to the season. Uh, what about you, Michael? Yeah, it was it was almost a direct kind of coming back to the characters that we know. Yeah. Uh, we do have an introduction of one new character that uh, specifically that matters. Yeah. Um, and we get Mob at his most vulnerable state <laughs> trying to do public speaking. Ugh, so... Yeah, a lot happens in this everybody episode. Everybody hates that. Talk about his new power in the first the, the part. Yeah, so we start off with him uh, helping his sensei at a farm, trying to exercise this uh, wriggle wriggle or wriggle wriggle, wriggle? wriggle? something like that. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> something. Like that. Uh, and we figure out that he can like manipulate like every living matter and bend it to so his will. So that's super OP. <laughs> yeah, basically, if a spirit is possessing something and it's not as strong as him, then he can possess yeah. that thing instead. And I think he could just do it on the fly, too, even if something's not to, like, help fight. Yeah. Because, like, the other, like, the branches he took over, they weren't possessed anymore, but he still calls on them to have, like, a mech battle. So, basically, <laughs> he could do a lot of stuff. Dude, that's, like, the, is that, like, prehistoric mech battle? Because they were using, like, wood and bodies. Yeah. <laughs> but, so uh... It's, a, it's that scene from, uh... Rick and Morty, where they're using the robots they've constructed to try to kill each other. That, that's a good reference there. Uh, so yeah, we start off with that. So it has a, uh, a good, uh, or I should say, a heavy start. We get the opening, which uh, I think people will probably be mixed on. I don't think it's as good as the first season, but it's still a decent song. I think, uh, you know... It grows on you. I mean, I yeah, I think it's going to grow. Similar to Overlord Season 3, it'll grow on you quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. Overall, the animation is... <laughs> Very mob like. They, uh, they, I think they trolled a lot of people by going heavy CGI uh -huh. both at the beginning and end, which just adds to the hilarity of you know are they taking yeah. themselves seriously eh, and we're know. talking about cgi in the in the opening not, yeah. the, not the show because they don't really have that but like even that like i love how it's like you were saying like the animation is i don't know if it's just clear or if it just, I mean, overall it just looks better but i think it's still funny that they have those like sections where it's like no it's black and white drawing or like oh like these two chicks don't matter it's just the center chick that matters so we're gonna like draw her and then the other two it's like really well drawn like was it rock and bell pepper heads or something like that yeah, yeah so you know you have that craziness that the first season had and that's really nice to see coming back but you know getting on to like what else happens we get to see that you know mob's back at school uh, we think it's a new school year not 100 percent sure on that but we did see that uh they're kind of bleeding effects of what happened in the first season with the whole president role or you know school president thing and this one chick that's part of the like newspaper media thing whatever wants mob to uh run for president and that's uh that's that everybody's secret well. nightmare yeah speaking in front of the whole school uh which leads to mob getting a secret admirer that for the life of me i don't know her, didn't name. Hear her name only. and neither would i even if i didn't know i wouldn't be able to say it because I, i'm not good at that but uh, she seems like a cool character. Uh, we we don't really know much about her except for the fact that she writes novels. <laughs> and and she seems pretty cool with Mob now. In the end, yeah. it's kind of like they have a... She asked him out on a bet. He said no, but they still hang out for a week. I assume that she was like mm. cool with him during that week, but then he left. And you know, Mob like helped her because her friends destroyed her novel or whatever. So. Yeah, because they're... And then he revealed that he's an Esper and mm -hmm. uh, looks like his secret... Mob's secret admirer, not really secret admirer, the person that he has a crush on is also knows that he's an Esper, obviously, and is somehow involved in the situation. We don't know to what extent. Yeah, which uh, I'm really interested to see how they play off on those two because... I, I think it's very clear one's going to be a love interest, the other one's going to be more of like a friend. But or I think it, it's it could just be double friends. Yeah, yeah, it could be double friends. It's mob. But he that would never, suck. He can't have a mob. girlfriend. <laughs> Poor mob. Girlfriend. Uh, but yeah, there's you know, there's parts of it that I think they could go either way. Uh, I mean, obviously the one girl seems like she's kind of, I don't know, fallen for him is the right word, but she's definitely more impressed by him. Uh, and then you know his childhood friend, I think. I think they did a good job of, like, kind of developing her character a little bit more in this episode. Because in the last season, you know, she just seemed kind of like a, <laughs> a thought, you know? <laughs> Where she's like, oh, that's cool for, like, five seconds. Oh, I'm going to go be over here and be popular. Screw you. But in this one, it seems like, you know, they paint a better picture of her being, like, a 
like a popular but still a friend to him just doesn't get to see him that much so i mean i don't know kinda, if it's justified i don't see. yeah i don't think that's justified but she's mind controlling people she's an esper <laughs> i already know i don't know the source uh, until but i already you know, know what we need we need the blonde haired guy to come and like woo her and then break her heart yeah it's <laughs> masame masame kun's revenge all over again but yeah. um anime reference but also we got a preview of the the second episode yeah which uh, looks basically really like He's going to go to another town and like explore mm -hmm. urban legends and see if they're true or not. It looks like it's going to be a heavy action episode and looks like there won't be that much character development in regards to like his mm -hmm. girlfriend I, slash friend and everything like that. I am curious if it'll be the next episode, if they're going to wait to see more characters from the first season. Because um, we got a lot of like probably the most minor characters returning, you know, besides his sensei, obviously, and, you know, Dimple at the end. But we didn't really get to see his brother too much. We didn't get to see uh, the blonde haired Esper at all. Uh, didn't get to see really anybody that was entire via the last arc thing of the first. Yeah, we didn't so. get to see any of the other lame psychics. psychics. Or and uh, but you know, in the opening, they have like thirty or so people that they introduce. Yeah, so I'm sure we'll and, see them. Uh, that's that's quickly. one thing that we know is like there's some that we know are coming back, or at least maybe they're just put in there. But then there's a lot of newer ones that uh, we haven't been introduced yet. So and I am excited because in the opening they also show the bad guys and it looks like it's going to be like the father of the one character in season one so I don't yeah. know if we'll get a full on confrontation or if it'll just be like you know mm -hmm. hinted at we'll see yeah it could be like uh, you know last season where it's like he goes up against underlings of it but not terribly sure also, we didn't even see the kid fight the, the son of the guy that's supposed no, to be super no we powerful. haven't seen him also so that could be sword thing. guy is back sword <laughs> We saw him. He's got a sword. I don't know what happened. Maybe he forged another sword or something. I don't That's know. a lot of demons to make a new sword because yeah. what it had like a thousand. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's uh, just a toy sword, man. Why are you playing with it? Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's possibly back. I mean, he's in the intro, so I assume. Yeah. I don't know. It could be that a lot of people that he beat in the first season are going to be coming back and be like, hey, you're going to have to, if you don't want to be executed, you better actually do something this time. Could be that or it could just be, you know, they're putting him in there just because... But uh, yeah, this was basically all that happened in the first episode. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great way to kick off the, the season. And uh, I mean, I had pretty, I don't want to say, uh, oh, well, I mean, I guess it's not uh, that far off to say that I had pretty high expectations for this. I really liked the first season. I thought it was well done. And uh, this one just seems to be promising more of that. So yeah, one, uh, one element, I, I agree with all those things. I am also hyped. Uh, one element that we didn't see this episode that was prominent in season one is uh, mob questioning why the sensei doesn't use his powers. Yeah. I think they'll probably go in the direction mm -hmm. that mob knows that he's a cheapskate and knows that he's not real, but still yeah. follows him around. Well, because I mean, like the I mean, the guy is messed up, but he does help him in certain ways. I guess emotionally or directing him. And I mean, he's like he does direct him with like good morals, but I don't really think that's <laughs> really the guy's like heart really into it. He's probably just like. I'm enstabling this uh, pacifism in you so that when you figure out, you won't kill me. <laughs> but uh, I will say, though, I think you're onto something there because uh, when we got to see how, like, I, I think this is one of the first times Mob is kind of not really give him lip, but kind of question or, like, show distaste and be like, at least give me some heads up before you just randomly call me. Uh, I don't remember seeing something like that in the first season. Plus... Uh, I think in this first episode, it was really obvious that the uh, the sensei didn't have powers. I think in the first season, he was able to really play it off a lot better. So if they go more that route where he's more careless and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's, it's the it's the same um, writer as One Punch. So it could be a similar situation where like no one understands like how strong One Punch is, even though like they see him destroy things on a daily yeah. basis. So it could be like that where Mom never figures out. But I would have some respect if it's if they goes the direction of Mom does know he just likes his sensei, and you know he he's like he you know it's a good enough situation that he doesn't want to change anything. Yeah, I'm looking forward to. Seeing also, how it's they're getting into the fruit growing business. <laughs> So that's exciting. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for like episode five when he's like having people walk in to buy like fresh fruits Dude, and vegetables. <laughs> that's heck of, that's farmer's market. Yep. He's going to be like, oh, it cures the demons. <laughs> it, it's... Just squirt this tomato juice on you and it'll exercise all demons. Yeah. You're going to have a uh, masseuse parlor, vegetable garden, and psychic. Yeah. <laughs> exercise. Three in one. Yep. Three in one. I like it. Uh, yeah. I guess any closing things for? Yeah. I really like the episode side with the animation. Um, kind of, you know, we, we did have some worries about One Punch Man's animation, but as far as Mob, great, yeah. uh, great animation, great shots. There's even a, a few cinematic shots where he's repairing the, the book or the, you know, the oh, yeah. manuscript. Because you were really talking cool. like the angles. Yeah. Yeah. That was a really cool, cool shot. 
Yep. So uh, I will say one little thing before we go. Try to keep this short, though. Uh, Mob and Slime are coming out on the same day, and uh, there there is times that we'll probably have them up the day of. But you know, most of the time, like if you know. If we do both of them like we are, we're gonna have probably one release before the other, and then the other one will be the following day. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for it. I don't know if we'll have a specific one, which one will be first or not. We might alternate which one goes first, but just to let you guys know that. But uh, that's it for us, and we'll see you guys next time. Later, Alex. Boom.